Welcome to Bible for the Busy Woman with me, Melissa Younger. Today we're going to be talking about Matthew 4, 18 through 25, so you can grab your Bible and follow along. We're going to read through these two stories together, and then we're going to talk about them a little bit. While walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on from there, they saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in the boat with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. And he went through all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought him all the sick, those afflicted with various diseases and pains, those oppressed by demons, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee and the Decapolis, and from Jerusalem and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. So there's kind of two sections here. The first section, okay, we see Jesus is recruiting four, um, four people. <laughs> two pairs of brothers, okay? And these guys are going to become the apostles. And this is unusual because at that time, usually students would seek out the teachers, but we see Jesus is turning that precedent on his head and he's going out and he's recruiting. So the people who would be reading this, what Matthew's writing here, they would know that this is unusual. They would see, oh, this teacher is um, seeking out people to follow after him and his message. And then we see at the end of Matthew a great commission that's given to us, that we are to do as he did to make disciples of all nations. And in the second part, we see Jesus doing this teaching um, and proclaiming the gospel and the kingdom and, and um, healing people. In 23 through 25, that those people are ones who need to be healed. They need to be healed of diseases. There are people who um, have are pressed by demons or epileptics or paralytics, okay? There's people with all kinds of different ailments coming um, because they desperately want to be healed. You might remember last week that Jesus was coming from the wilderness in Judea up into the Galilee area to Capernaum, which is right by the Sea of Galilee. So he's right by the sea and that's where he's recruiting the fishermen in today's passage. And then people are starting to come to him. They're coming to him from uh, the Decapolis. They're coming to him from Judea. They're coming from Jerusalem. Um, and then they're coming from all in the Galilee area to him to listen to his teaching and to be healed. So there's kind of two takeaways from today. So one, I would say... Are you looking to Jesus to teach you and are you expecting him to uh, heal you and uh, care for you? Did you know that he can do that? Um, and then the second one is, you know, if you're a leader, then are you looking to Jesus as an example for your leadership of how you should lead others? What kind of example are you setting for other people and are you seeking out people to disciple if you're mature in your faith? So those are just some questions I'm putting out there for you to think about. I hope this message was encouraging to you. You can feel free to let me know if there's any Bible passages or theological questions that you have. I would love to cover what you're interested in and what's going to help you um, and encourage you in your faith. So uh, let's stay in the Word and seeking the Lord together.